Hello everybody, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and I'm here with my wife. Wife, say hi. Hi. Uh, driving the Volt, I'm going to speak really loud because I don't have my microphone, so please turn your volume up a little bit. I usually keep my microphone uh, at the, at the, the, with the leaf. So the reason I'm doing this video is a um, few years. And first of all, I, Beth and I just dropped off our son uh, in his summer camp. He's going to be there for two months. We are two months for each other. No children in the house. Happy, happy. And, um, and the reason is uh, we took the vault to drop him off. The camp is about 50-ish miles away from home it's in Pennsylvania and um, and the vault gave us 63.8 electric miles this car is just unbelievably incredible um, so wh why did we get so many electric miles I mean the rated miles here is about 52 how come we got 60 almost 64 64 miles so let's talk a little bit about um, my, about EV miles and what affects your uh, real world uh, range. So range varies, just like MPG varies, and the number one cause for lower um, uh, uh, MPG, not MPG, for lower uh, pure uh, EV miles, real miles is weather number one when it's cold you get much much less uh ev miles right Ben? Mm -hmm. she's concurring with me she drives this car most of the time uh second is speed so if you drive on highways you you will expend a lot more energy by the way um the total amount of kilowatt hour used is 14 kilowatt hours this is an 18 kilowatt hour battery by the way so, but you don't use the whole thing uh, so you have weather, you have speed, and the third one that is the most the the the, the, the most eff that affects um, uh, range is elevation. You're going up a hill, uh, you're gonna pay all, you're gonna pay a lot of uh, miles going up. I think actually going up a hill will be number two, and then speed. The up going up a hill takes a lot of energy to get up higher elevation. So so how come we got um, 64 miles almost uh, first of all the weather is nice it's about 65 degrees today so the weather is nice so when the weather is nice the car when the car charges you get higher projected rating so we got when we left the house it was 54 miles projected rating projected uh, range um, then the uh, the way to the camp was mostly a secondary road, uh, 35 to 50 miles uh, speed limit. We have a little stretch of a highway, but not not that long, not that long, not that big, not not so not so much. So most of it was about 60 miles. Uh, I mean, 35 to 50 miles uh, road, speed limit roads. And but most importantly, a lot of flat area, a lot of flat area. So when you drive 30 to 50 miles in a flat area, then you are going to um, you are going to to do very well in terms of pure EVs, pure EV miles. So, um, so all that put that all together, you can really uh, get uh, a lot of real world miles. Now, I never hyper uh, hyper mile, which means I never turn off the the, the heat, the, the heat or the air conditioning, or drive slow or try to conserve. I drive normal, regular. No, I'm not trying to get as many miles. I'm just so this is. A pure, regular, real-world, no compromise uh, rating of this of this drive. So um, it's fantastic. I always say that even though um, uh, the uh, Chevy Volt is not a pure EV, what it is, it's um, it's uh, as close as possible because 80, 90 percent of your drive is going to be uh, in EV mode, which makes it for all practical uses for all uh, for your day-to-day -day use is really an uh, all-electric car with your uh, engine backup uh, I mean your uh, gas backup you that you can uh, use for long drive so right now we are in gas mode it, 
it is a hybrid obviously so um, so that's that it's very very incredible so once you do that if you can share be nice if you can share your uh, best um, best uh, uh, r uh, range that you got on your uh, on your Volt or or if you have other plug-in hybrid not pure EV obviously so if you have a Volt or any other plug-in hybrid uh, what is your actual not projected not uh, rated not whatever actual miles if you can take a, if you can take a photo and share with the with us be nice I'm sure people live uh, in flat air like like Arizona or Florida where it's flat in many areas and, and the weather is warm you can you get many more miles I, I I'm certain where I live it's not like that we have very high heels and all that all right so that's that thank you everybody and also 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 tomorrow morning we are going to the west coast and we're going to drive from San Francisco to Vancouver Canada is it in British Columbia yes it is yes it is to British Columbia I knew that I just want to concur with my social studies teacher my wife um, so we're going to do that and we're going to stop in as many um, as many superchargers uh, uh, to see uh, how busy they are, how crowded they are and we'll report from there and whatever good we find we'll share because we always do, it's fun so um, that's that so thank you everybody for watching I'll see you tomorrow from the west coast and help me change the world one electric car at a time and thank you for your loyalty I am 940-ish I think subscribers I need 60 more who will be the 1,000 subscriber? It should be you. So please click, click, subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.